Previously on The Plot Thickens. I think that, like, this Martin Prime is just... I don't think this is the best version of me. I think you're lashing out because you lost your lawsuit against Amazon. I... Okay. And you lost you lost two girlfriends. And that you know. Yes. Oh, yeah. That oh, we no, know no. of. There's a couple oh. more that I didn't want to waste your time oh, with. Oh it was God. just. Uh, a, excuse me, Debra. No, it was a oh, sorted. So- tale. Yes, we, uh, me, Frank, I have a can me... of worms that was just opened. They're fresh. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. Didn't mean to do that there. Oh, boy. No, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That you was... know what I miss, Martin? What do you miss? I miss your switches. The oh, yeah? Switch Switch did have a kind of a. Uh... It was like a je ne sais quoi. Yeah, like know. a like a Jenny Sequoi. Yeah. Isn't that that flavored water? Look, Jenny Sequoi. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like uh, they've they've enlisted Yolanda into the construction, and Yolanda, I think it's it may and may not be suffering from a Stockholm syndrome. All right, welcome back to Wasting All the Time, Season 2. This is our Monday segment, The Plot Thickens, where we tell a story, sort of, in serialized fashion. I love cereal. We portray fictional characters. What? <laughs> Whoever thought of such a thing? Madness. <laughs> All right, this is called The Plot Thickens. <laughs> Literally the earliest humans. <laughs> Okay. All right. Psyching yourself up for something, Frank? Yes. I'm about to make a big decision. And I need to, you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. As you say, psych myself out. Up. Up. Or out. You, you can psych yourself out too. That's up a and out. very real possibility. Okay, the psyche is going to be up and out. Have you done <clears> like the push ups to get the juices flowing? No, is, is that what I should do? I That's what I do. I should do. It's very right. important. Your body is a machine, Frank. Okay. You got to tune it up. How many? You count them off. Here All we right, go. here we go. One. Hey, Debra. Two. Three. Four. I brought bagels. Oh, okay. Keep going and I'll catch up. Are you what counting? Kind? Yes, counting in my head. It's a safer place to count. Yeah, yeah. No, I... I, I I brought a variety of bagel, bagels because I thought, uh, you know, maybe people want 12. a variety. You got 12? Uh, I mean, 10. I've got a baker's dozen. Yeah. No, it's only 10. Keep going. I'll tell you when I get to 12. You know I'm older than you. Technically. Do you have the the, the strawberry spread? Oh, the schmears? Yeah, Isn't yeah. Isn't schmear got, like got, fish? Like, no, no. I went to, I went to the... Locks! The lo- <laughs> There's locks. There are locks, Frank. All right, uh, five. Good job. Uh, oh. I got a couple different ones. I think you were. Uh, oh. <sighs> Somewhere in there, I think you started going backwards. That's entirely possible. I live my life in a variety of ways, forwards and backwards. That's that new math you do, huh? What are you pumping up to do? I am going to wow. sign for a house. No way. What? But Georgia and I... Are buying a house. She's been saving up at the carnival. Ooh, that's right. I've been stocking away a little bit here, a little bit there, a couple lotteries. You know what I mean. That's wait, lotteries. lotteries? Did you, Frank? Did you win the lottery? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, you got to play to win. You, I th- wait, wait. Technically no, accurate. Okay, so like somebody can win the lottery and then they only win like five dollars. Oh yeah, I've done that a bunch. Yeah. So wait, we okay. So when you say you won the lottery. How much did you win the lottery? I have won the lottery four times. That's not what I... Not the counting the $5 was tech- one. How, Which $5? I don't dollars? even count How the $5 big? ones. How big of a prize? The first prize was $20,000. Oh. Damn. The first time I won. That was, first- that was a bunch of years ago. Whoa. I bought a car with that and uh, socked the rest away. Uh, the That's same time I won the lottery, not as much, 5000 Still pretty good. Yeah. Still pretty good. Number three, that's right. I had to split it, and after taxes, I only ended up with one point three. One point, and then the one, three, wait, wait, one three million people. People only say one point three if yeah, they mean it's, it's in the million. There's no point to put a decimal in a thousand. Yeah, yeah no. one point three million. Most of it invested in safe options. You bought safes. Yeah. 
So you put extra money in socks, and then uh-huh. you went and you put the other money in giant safes. Correct. So it's all still there. That's good. Yeah. And then the fourth time. I mean, it's not good, but go on. Was uh was about 16 years ago. It was actually before I met most of you. I uh, I really hit it big. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I got a uh, hundred and sixty. hundred and sixty. hundred and sixty dollars? Clear out the door. Yeah. A hundred and sixty dollars. No, million. Sorry. A hundred and sixty million. <gasps> what? And uh, I used some of that to uh, get this thing going. And then I hired you guys and we've all been having a good old time. Yeah. This this so, office is falling apart and you have a hundred and sixty seven million dollars. Deborah, is it that was quick math. falling apart? Or is it being torn apart? Pointed question. Yes, Deborah, I don't have to answer. I have to I I have to put tape on the floor so that we know that oh, right above a ceiling tile has already fallen, which means there may or may not be a rodent that will fall out of the ceiling. Yes. Right. That is not that is that is not an in construction X. On the ground. That is a warning a, X. No, no I, I understand your frustration, but you have to ask yourself. That's, Debra, that's higher than I can count. Debra, let me ask you a question. You've been here 15 years. Yeah. I pay you well. Well, yeah. I do a good job, though. We pay off all of the expenses that you incur. So you travel the world, basically, for free. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I just figured that was part of the and other jobs solve that I do, though. Like uh, Some crimes, some cases you solve. I solve every case I decide to solve. Many of your perfectly. so-called... Is that a tautology? I perfectly solve <sighs> every case I decide to solve. Many of the ones you take on seem a little bit more like uh, you, you're just picking up souvenirs. Or not picking them up. How many external clients... Have you solved cases for and got payment? Oh, I tell them to give it to you. So I don't take the payment the payment personally. Okay. But I've got I've no, got a no, nice fast, I fast, have a, procedures I have, procedures. I have a I have a folder. To take a guess, Deborah. Take a guess. How many of those people have paid us? Well, I would imagine it's probably like a thousand. I would yeah, I would it's think that it probably, probably like a thousand for the like, number of cases you've done. Uh, it's probably like a thousand. That Martin. seems low. That seems I've done so many cases. Martin, you uh, mm. you have a tendency to go out and uh, bring things back from Russia and plant it as evidence. It, that happened allegedly one time. You know, you uh, you're on the front lines, and I uh, yeah. For the most part, I I spend a lot of time back here in the back behind the scenes. Desk warrior. Frank, what do you him. suppose? Our annual legal costs are for dealing with all of the false accusations <laughs> and planted evidence and frame jobs that you participate in. Just uh, what do you suppose? Uh, it's like at least thirty or forty dollars. Five hundred dollars a year. You know that? Wow, big numbers! Five hundred dollars <laughs> a year for legal costs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the ante. Five fifty. Five fifty. Let's go five fifty. Let's. Oh, can I go five fifty one? No, that's a dick move, and you know it. I don't, I don't allow that kind of bidding Let's... in my presence. I, Deborah, yeah. you know that pushes my button. It's mean spirited and unnecessary to make a point. Let's say it's five. No, five fifty one. That's a good number. Come that's on. A good number. I just, I just, I, got, I, I can't. Just, I gotta go with it. You just, that's. Martin, five hundred and fifty one dollars a on year. The list. Damn. In legal fees. Oh, I'm coming for you, Snitch. <laughs> I, and I cannot reiterate this strongly enough. That's money going out. Oh. Not coming oh, in. Oh, it's probably a little higher than that. Then. Maybe. I don't know about the lawyers you deal with, but the ones I use, <laughs> they make me pay them. Oh, so you right. should probably get a better deal. So... You know, what this really sounds like, though, more so is that uh, maybe Margaret's not doing a job. Like, if she's That's not collecting payment. Definitely Margaret's fault. And if she's not filling out the right mm-hmm. paperwork for, mm-hmm. Ma- for Martin to do Margaret? what he's doing. Is I'm just saying, heart? 
She's a dear heart. So the moral to the story is... We should fire Margaret. Well, yep, I, you're right. Keep, we need to get a new person to like follow up on all these accounts, Frank. I keep costs low because this business has been losing money what? every mm. year uh, for a decade and a half. Okay, that's... Mm. And my reserves are running a little low. Now I'm investing in real estate, hoping that it appreciates in value. Hope is the best investment, they say. So look, you guys are my closest friends, aside from Georgia. No, that's fair. I respect that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you guys are friends. Mm. I like to spend time with you. Mm. But, you know, we don't elope. So, not as close. We... Wait, I want you, you to stay here, did just, did you and I want you to do your thing, you know? It's been developing for a long time. But I want you to stop jumping on my ass about money. Is that so much? No ass yeah. touching. Got, Got it. Got it. Okay. Fast fit. And needle off. So, so, anything important you wanted to tell t- talk to us about? I wanted to get that out of the way and then clear the air so we can talk about this voicemail. What voicemail? What voicemail? Oh, yes, that voicemail. I thought you had a new one. That one? We don't need to talk about that. I think we do, though. No, we don't. I think, I think it's... That's not a... It, it, it starts with a song. Any voicemail that starts with a song, you know it's going to be good. Golly. I just don't know what language it was in. <clears throat> it was in Arabic. Oh, okay, yeah. Arabic music. Lovely. I, just, I, just, I couldn't understand it. It seemed familiar. See? It did seem See, familiar, but, but I do travel a lot. This is so. technically correct. Oh, you do? Yes, you do travel a lot. I yeah. do. I do. Yeah. I don't, but I do. Yeah, I just uh, I you know I just want to sort of bring it up as a moderator of sorts and uh, and say well, you know what do we what do we do with this sing song uh, thing and uh, you know it was a little bit cryptic at first mm-hmm. but then once I start thinking about the tattoos mm-hmm. it all lined up. Mm, you have to admit your tattoos have a lot of lines. They've got mm-hmm. so many lines and squigglies. <laughs> they film things. Hey, Frank. Yeah, Debra, take it at any time. Mm-hmm. Here's a question for you. Uh, so the one that's on my leg, the one that you kept taking pictures of, and then you kept, like, taking a picture of it, and then you were, like, mumbling along mm-hmm. with the recording over and over again. Uh, is it an address? Yep. I knew it. That's, sounded like yeah, an address when you kept like saying it out loud. It sounded like an address. Non-American address. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. that is indeed a the cheeky address. And it's the same castle I went to <gasps> on my journeys. With the statues. A couple weeks ago. I had a, I had a feeling uh, after I listened to that, yeah. to that message that I couldn't understand because I don't speak that language. But it was real familiar. Because yep. I'm pretty sure that this... This symbol is a return to send a symbol in it. Yep. Is a return to send, send a symbol, Frank? If, yep. lo- if lost, return. How, how long have you been lost? I guess I've been lost all my life. Okay, no, sorry. That was way deeper than I was going for. Oh, okay. No, like, not like emotionally. Oh. Due to a tragic mix up at a post office, Deborah was not returned home. Wow. Huh? To the to the castle? To the castle. Is it Castle Deborah then? No, it can't be Castle Deborah. That's my name. That's my first name. People don't name castles after first names. Oh, that's true. Point taken. There you go. All right. Wow, taking points away. No, I meant no. It's a cool. point given. It's, it's taken give it from back. me to fair's fair. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry that the business is losing money. You know, look, this is all about growing as people. (laughs) And when we got the voicemail 
and I translated it, and I got the address, and I connected two and two. I uh, used this handy app I have and caught a flight <gasps> back out to Tajikistan, and I, uh, I played the message back to the statues, and they admitted statue admissions oh. that they are actually your dear old mom and dad. Oh, what? Dun, dun, dun. Oh Frank, I can't. That's intense. I, 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 oh, oh boy. Do you oh, lay boy. down? You should sit. lay down. I'm going to sit down. Is that a gonna, swoon? I'm going to sit swooning? down on the ground here. Okay. Like I got to make sure that I don't sit don't next to X. this the X's. Where's, where's the spot without any X's? Oh, uh, you could sit mm-hmm. under your desk. Oh, that's a good idea. That's safe. That's a good idea. Rodents so, can't fall through desks. They can. No. Well, I mean, they could if they tried maybe really hard, but not this desk. No. <laughs> it seems to be a uh, kind of an outlier statistically. Yes. Yeah, no, they. Uh, yeah, your okay. parents moved to Tajikistan after you went missing. They couldn't bear to live in the family home anymore. Then how? Why do I have the address of where they live now on my leg? Sometimes the world is just that mysterious. So you have the address oh. to Castle Deborah on your leg. They they, they you gave up. Gone back to. They gave up their home and moved. To the second home, your parents are rich. Well, they oh, have a castle. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. So they had tattooed the summer home address, <laughs> just in case, on your leg at one point, right? So if you get lost, you can get mailed back. No, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This plan all makes perfect logical sense so far. Oh, does that mean that all these other tattoos that was just postage? Yeah, you are one expensive parcel. <laughs> huh? But what value do you put on life? Yeah. Um, from what I can see, uh, so uh, there's quite a few. Yeah. That like, is the reason why they're pretty expensive. Okay, they live oh. in Tajikistan, but they speak Arabic instead of Tajiki. Okay, it's because they came from that other from place. place. So you have rich, globe-trotting parents who tattooed a summer castle address on your leg in case I ever got lost, and then prepaid the postage. It's a f- sort of a forever stamp, if you will. That's like, that's a bit extreme. That's kind of excessive. It's a little cool. I it's mean, a, I mean it it's makes, a little bad. It, 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 it makes it makes a little bit more sense yeah. about how I act because it's a bit extreme. So, uh, you know, I asked them, uh, "What do you want to do?" They said, "Well, she can always send an invite or a friend request." And I said, I, harsh, yeah, but fair. Anyway, I got updated emergency contact info, and if you ever want to call your parents, you can do that. But, um, you know, wow. why are you all so quiet? I don't... I solved the case. Bro, I was getting a bagel. I missed the last bit of that. Is that the last everything bagel? Mm, this, that one's got Asiago. Like, you like Asiago. How do you know that I like Asiago? What puts that in your head? We talked about what our favorite bagels were. Yeah. And you think it was Asiago? I, isn't, that, isn't that what that sticky note on your computer says? Oh, God damn it. I love, I, I love Asiago bagels almost as much as I love Georgia. Like, I thought that was... That's why I left you the Asiago. Okay. I guess we're all solving cases today. Oh, all right then. Is there really lunch then? Yeah, lunch, less lunch. I'm, I'm just going to stay into here. I think I'm just going to... Okay. going to stay into my desk. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're technically yeah. under Margaret's desk. Oh, crap. I can't even figure out my own desk. Yeah, I didn't want to tell you because you uh, seemed trauma or something, but oh. then I got hungry, so I, 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 I just, got a bagel. Is there any more everything bagels? Were you not listening? What? <laughs> <laughs> this has been <laughs> The Plot Thickens. Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah. And we will see you on Thursday with another episode. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, 
then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com, and there we have all the answers. Thank you.